All right, what's going on, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. Um, we are going to be looking at Meta. Okay, um, this is the uh, Round Hill Investments ETF. So real quick, um, I just want to show you guys the uh, top five holdings real quick. Okay, you can look at their holdings if you just go to their website. Um, it's roundhillinvestments.com uh, slash ETF slash Meta slash full dash holdings. Okay, and, um, you know, that's the link right there. But um so Facebook is in there, or I'm sorry, uh, Meta Platforms, okay, Ticker, FB, uh, formerly Facebook, NVIDIA, Roblox, Microsoft, and Unity Software. Um, honorable mention, Snapchat right underneath it, okay. Um, I would definitely pay attention to, you know, these six stocks um, if you are interested in the Metaverse, okay. Um, and if you guys want me to break down any of the stocks in the full listing, okay, um, if you look, they have Square, they have PayPal in there. Um, you know, I really like those two. Um, I've dropped a few videos on those. Look for those to be doing really well in the next um, six months. OK, from now, from December to summer of 2022, um, the payment financial sector is going to have a nice um, sector rotation. OK, I have a whole video covering that. So go ahead and check that video out. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and dive into the chart. So, um, you know it's down big news okay i've told you guys this um and i've been telling you guys this and i've told you okay about these daily gaps down it has to fill that they fill um statistically okay 90 to 95 percent of the time it's just a matter of when okay so you can never time the market all right what you can do is prepare for the market um you know prepare all right so when i got into meta uh, I got some call options. Okay. So we got some call options right around here, right around the bottom around su major support. And I wrote it all the way up to here. And, and once we broke this level right here, um, you know, I went ahead and took some profit. I wasn't, I wasn't afraid to sell for profit and feel good about it. Okay. Yeah. Did I miss it run up from 16 all the way up to 17? Yeah. I didn't miss a dollar run up, but you know what? I also, missed the dramatic drop from 17 all the way down to um 1450 okay so you know i i knew that this was coming all right i've been telling people hey you know maybe take some profit on meta here or prepare for it to come down okay because i don't think if you're owning shares um and you're looking to uh, invest long term in the meta etf I don't think um, unless maybe for tax purposes, you ever need to sell for a permanent loss with Meta. OK, now what that means is if you're down, let's say 30 percent on Meta. All right. That's what's called a temporary loss. OK, because you have not sold it. You have not closed it for a loss. It is not permanent yet. So, you know, don't sell your position and force a permanent loss out of something that you had a long-term investment strategy for, right? And, you know, and you're down now, okay? Which you can do is if you have shares is you can just dollar cost average, okay? So what I always like to tell people to do is set some alerts, okay? On the daily gaps and when those alerts fill, okay? Um, and go off, then you know, hey, well, all right, boom, meta, meta drop finally. I know we're not right here, right? Uh, approaching the daily gap down to 1532. All right. And, and you can dollar cost average in there and perhaps, you know, buy some more. All right. Or you can, you know, be patient a little bit and wait to see. All right. Well, hey, you know, we're, we're dropping down to this gap down. Maybe we'll drop down to the next gap. Right. So let me wait a little bit. Let me set an alert down here at this gap and see if we fill this gap. And boom. What do you know? We're starting to fill that one. So I'm not telling you guys that Meta is bound to go down to uh, this daily gap down at 1415. Um, like you know, super soon. All right. Um, you know, it could take another, uh, market correction. All right. Because what's happening is the, uh, NASDAQ. Okay. Has been getting beat up and having a lot, a lot of red days. And this is the being that this is metaverse, you know, this is all tech. Okay. This is high, high tech, um, holdings, you know what I mean? So when the tech sector does bad, meta is also going to do bad. All right. So you have to keep that in mind. So if the market, let's say if the tech market continues to do bad, then you could see it fall down to this gap at 1415. All right. 
So that's basically it. I just wanted to go over it. Okay. I've already covered it a bunch of times. All of these support and resistance levels are on here. Okay. Um, I'm going to give them to you uh, real quick in case you're just kind of listening and not really looking at the, the video. All right. Uh, we're going to go from the bottom to the top. All right. So the major support and resistance levels as of now are going to be 1388, 1414, 1443, 1472, 1510, 1545, and 1591. All right. So um, you can look for the stock to bounce or, you know, get rejected um, at each of these levels. OK, um, and they're valid support and resistance levels, um, you know, across the time of the chart. All right. Now, this big oval here is um, what I told everyone that I think this is an amazing long term investment and to scoop up shares for at least a one year holding. Um, but, you know, I think if you hold this for the next five years, I think Meta definitely has the potential to be uh, worth 100, um, you know, a share. So if you can get it below 20, um, you know, I was very comfortable doing that. Um, you know, I didn't want to suggest people buy it up here at, you know, 16, 17 at all time highs. Um, I'll never really suggest anyone to buy anything at all time highs unless they have proper risk management and can stomach, um, you know, a drop and they don't mind. OK, because they th they think, oh, well, I think Meta is going to be worth 100. So I don't mind buying some more at 17, even if that's the new highs. All right. So um, mentality is everything. Figure out what you're doing. Are you trying to trade this short term um, or, you know, are you looking to truly invest in the metaverse and, you know, purchase Meta ETF below twenty dollars when it has the potential to be, you know, one hundred dollars in f five years from now, if not sooner? Um so again, you know, this isn't financial advice. This is just my opinion. Um, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a friend and I'm giving you guys some free game on the YouTube. And if you guys want to help me out for it, just drop a like, comment, subscribe and um, join the discord if you want to, um, you know, become friends. OK, uh, on a closer level. All right. Uh, you know, the people in the discord are like family. We're all making money. And, you know, we're really there to help people if they're struggling, um, you know, and yeah, it's just a real tight knit community. Okay, so you can join. The link is in the dis, uh, description below. And if you use code Zachly, like the channel name Zachly Trades, um, you will get a discount on your membership. Okay.